Hey, I wanted to make you this video today to talk to you about the month of August. We're going into this really accelerated time. We've got eclipse season. We have two eclipses coming up August 7th and August 21st, and they're bringing with them a lot of charge, a lot of energy. And it's great to know about the charge and it's great to know about the energy, but my focus is what do we do with it? Like, what are we being asked to do at this time? And so I wanted to make you this video so that you had some more insights about what all the buzz actually means and what you can do in your life over the next month to make this a very sacred time. So we're entering like this sacred portal of time. You've heard me talking about this. Time has been getting more accelerated in terms of our own personal ascension process. And what it's been calling forth from us is this deeper connection to our own holiness, to our own sacredness, so that we can live that in our day-to-day -day lives. I mean, what does it even mean or look like for us to live in this very sacred and holy way? And that's really the inquiry that we're meant to be in so that we can really enjoy and get the most out of this time. You know, we can get on autopilot and just be living our life and forget that each moment and each day is giving us so many opportunities for miracles to occur to it's just the time is ripe with these possibilities for us to discover who we are at deeper levels and then bring our life into greater alignment with those discoveries and so I had to make notes there's so many things that are happening for us in the month of August and I want to make sure that I give it to you as clearly as possible so that this information can really serve you in your life. So August is really inviting us to open our hearts more fully and to heal the hurt that maybe has been an armor to us really living from a place of true heart connection. I just recently took an 11 day uh, technology detox as it were and during that 11 days I had no idea what to expect. As you may know I live my life like I'm on vacation so when I was guided to take 11 days off I was like what are we going to be doing? I have no idea. And I pretty much was crying for eight of those 11 days, maybe nine. I was basically crying the whole time. And if they had told me like, so you're going to go into this 11 day window and ball your head off and like work through things that you have not been able to feel before, I probably would not have been as excited about it, but that was what happened. And it was literally an unwinding of previous heart pain from previous lifetimes and this lifetime included and what came from that was just such a deep release. There were so many tears. There was so much heart opening happening. I literally could feel that my heart was like breaking open. I was like, my heart is breaking. Like what the hell guys? And yet I could feel this opening occurring from the breaking of my heart. And it was then that I began to really understand what was happening. And of course they started like giving me more and more details, my connection, they being my connection with higher consciousness, of course, was giving me more and more insights after I would cry, get to the other side of that release. And then they would tell me more about what I had released, what was coming up, what, what this time was about and how I could be of service to my community who also would be going through this in the um, beautiful month of August that we're being blessed with. So what August is going to bring up and what you probably already noticed that's coming up is there are situations in your life that are unfolding that may be familiar situations, maybe situations you've faced before in the past, but you're being invited as we always are when there's a, a habituated pattern coming up to show up for it in the highest light. And to take it a step further, what August is really asking us to do is to open our hearts, allow whatever it is that's coming in to break open our hearts even more fully. Now this means we can't avoid, we can't numb out, we can't go into addictions. I mean, they literally took away my, my Facebook habit technology like it was gone. So it was really up to me to just feel it. And so that was challenging, but it was also really, really important. And I could, after each release, feel this opening happening in my heart center, which was really, really beautiful to experience. You know, for me, I've definitely been someone who armored as a way to protect, right? When we get hurt, when our hearts get hurt, that's what we do. And yet that heart protection is the very thing that's keeping us from experiencing the deep love that we're here for 
at this time in consciousness. So August is the month of love and the pathway to the love is through the heart opening. And that requires us to unwind and untangle from identifications that we've made about who we are. So we're really being asked to unwind our stories, our previous identities in previous dimensions. So what you're gonna notice is experiences with lower frequencies and lower timelines in the third dimension of consciousness or the fourth dimension of consciousness, either in relationships with people that you know, or it can be places, it can be people, places, things that you've had attachments to that have been an identity of sorts for you. And you're being invited to unwind that identity so that the true you can break open and be free in this world. Like, is there anything more amazing? I mean, that's what we came to do, right? So this time in August is going to be you know, really, really intense for us, depending on the level that we need it, right? Did I really need to cry for nine of 11 days? Apparently I did, you know, that was exactly what I needed. And spirit literally brought me the circumstances and experiences and the unfoldings. I didn't have any plans. I would just wake up each day and say, okay, what, what are we gonna do? And oh wow, they would bring me these just amazing unfoldings and experiences that would literally evoke the heart breaking open. And so you too may find yourself experiencing this. And if you do, we wanna really invite you to rather than doing what I had normally done, which is like, can't feel that, can't feel that. Nope, I'm gonna go eat some chocolate. I'm gonna get on the internet. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to somebody, not gonna feel that. Instead, I had to sit and just be present with it and let it flow through me and let it come through me and let my heart break open. So this is the time to do it. This is what the eclipse is inviting us into so that the 5D self, the, the spiritual consciousness self, the being that we truly are, the love, peace, and prosperity that we truly are can be birthed, can really be born in this world. So again, this is going to occur at whatever level that you need it to. And so we wanna invite you to not push it away. Whatever it is that occurs for you over this next month of time, like don't push it away, show up for it. We've got so many tools for you and there are many tools out there in the universe. And so just really asking to be connected to the tools tools, the mentors, the supports that you need so that you can navigate it in a way that truly uplifts you and allows the real heart healing to happen. Because if we have the experience, but we stuff it, we avoid it, we disconnect, it's just going to come back and it's going to come back even bigger. And I don't know about you, but I'm not interested in having that continual process. We're really being asked to untether from these limitations and specifically our identifications with who we thought we were so that we can be who we really are. I actually was guided to make this video for you after coming in from a walk on the beach where I was crying again, shocking, it's, it's a theme right now, where I just could feel all of this movement of energy that's happening in the cosmos and for me and my personal trajectory and my connection to my spirit team just really guiding me to see clarity about identifications that I've had and things that I've told myself over the years and really unwinding it. And I had this moment of clarity as I walked on the beach and really saw what was true and tears immediately began to flow. And then I sat on the beach and just sat there and I had my eyes closed and I was meditating and all of a sudden I opened my eyes and there's a feather right in front of me, a very specific feather that Royal, one of my guides, will show me when he's giving me a sign. And then all of a sudden I felt him, like I've never felt him before actually, surround me and give me a hug. And I, I've had my guides do this to me before, um, but this is the first time I had that experience with Royal and I immediately just started sobbing because I could feel all of the love. And then he began to whisper to me the guidance that I needed for the next step. And I share that story with you because I want you to understand that in this heart opening, this heart breaking open, there is so much magic. There are so many miracles for you here. There's so much clarity that wishes to come to you, this raw, real, heartbreaking, open truth that wants to be revealed to you so that you can be the love and experience the love and shine the love that you truly are and then be even more fully on the path of your destiny.
So I'm gonna check my notes because I wanna make sure that I got everything for you before we wrap this up. So you may find that you're coming full circle with some of your wounds. So things that you thought you were complete with have come back into your life. We talked about this several months ago, how that was happening. I think back in June was when we started noticing that. And so things are coming to completion now with those pieces that came full circle. You're having greater clarity about why that place came in or that person or whatever it is. And now you're able to let it go, either let it go into deeper love and connection or you're completely complete with it because it's in the third or fourth dimension, which is not a match to your fifth dimensional and beyond self that wishes to be here. So we're untethering and courting. We talked about that. Oh, taking our power back. So that's what we're doing here. We're really taking our power back from these people, places, and things that we had given our power away to. So we want you to visualize just bringing your power back into your solar plex, back into your power center, and then dropping any energy through your grounding cord into the core of Mother Earth. We have a grounding ritual that you can get in our JOG's empowerment guide to let go of any attachments. So you wanna be doing a lot of taking your power back from organizations, from thought forms, from relationship matrices, from religious matrices, whatever it is, pulling your energy back in, dropping what doesn't serve you, and then staying in that more empowered state. So as this clearing, this heartbreaking open healing is occurring, it's giving us the opportunity to take our power back from what we had leaked our energy to or given power away to before. So we're really in this pathway of letting go of our identity attachments, our story, our pain, and then trusting the divine, having greater faith in the divine and doing it all with love. <laughs> now this is where it gets tricky, right? Because things are gonna come up where we don't necessarily wanna do it with love. But what's been interesting for me in this journey is that things would take place and my third dimensional response, right? Well, this means this about this person or this means that and going into the mind and going into the story my higher wisdom was like, no, you don't get to see things through that filter anymore. Go deeper, see it through source, see it through the eyes of love. And when I looked at it through that, oh my God, I saw something completely differently that totally opened my heart even more. And then I would get to this place of love. So something I had been in judgment about would occur. I'd go into my 3D or 4D story about, well, this means this about this person. And, and this is what's wrong with that, right? My psychological analysis or my spirit, my spiritual analysis of what's going on with them, right? My mind would go there. And then my higher wisdom would say, no, that's not how we do things here. So I would have to come back and look at it through the eyes of love, look at it through the eyes of source. And then I would find myself on the other side of that, like, like so in love with this person, place, or thing, whatever it was, because I returned back to the place that is true of them and true of me. And I may never speak to that individual again, like, or whatever this was, it's not about like love with attachment. It's about coming back to a placement of love and then being able to let it go. I mean, it's, it's so extraordinary. And then for, you know, other relationships or in the work that you do, it will take you higher. I also experienced like, total new levels of connection to my higher wisdom, to who I really am, to my work in the world, to my purpose. Like it's incredible what is possible when we really choose to see things through the eyes of love. So we're really having to clean up our thought forms and what we say and how we speak about. We're literally speaking things into reality. What I was shown is that we want to think that our think about our words as a paintbrush that is creating a painting. So we want to be really, really conscious of the thought forms we're engaging and the words that we're speaking during this time. Because I kept wanting to go into early on in my 11 day experience, go into my story about, well, this is what this means, like my, my narration of what was happening but what was really important was for me to clean up those thought forms use words that were a higher vibrational frequency and were actually the truth of what was happening so we're really going through this time if you want to put together a formula it would be like letting go of identi identity um, attachments letting go of pain stories letting go of thought forms about who we thought we were and then cleaning up how we speak about them and we work our tools and processes to let those go we ask to see it through the eyes of source so that we can return to a greater state of love and in that way the timelines of the third and fourth dimension are shifting because we're no longer able to see what is occurring through those old filters but rather going into seeing it through the fifth dimensional perspective this is returning 
us to a deeper state of love and an embodiment of love, which then allows us to create more love in our life. And of course, if you've been reading our blog post, you know that the focus right now is about coming into partnership. And if you're in partnership, going deeper into your intimacy and your connection, because when we have a world that is filled with people who love, we have a planet that is filled with love. And that's where we're going. That's what it's all about. The love, peace, and prosperity. That's who we really are. That's what we're here to create. And August is inviting us into this deeper pathway to love. So I probably talked like for 15 minutes when I set the intention to make a five minute video. So I'm going to stop, but that is your August consciousness forecast. It's all about love and this heartbreaking open piece that's happening for us. Um, I'll have some links below. So if you are looking for emotional and spiritual support tools to navigate this time in consciousness, we got you covered. And, um, um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important piece. So over the next, over the course of August, every Sunday, we are going to send out to our email newsletter some inspiration to support you during this time because we're all, whatever dimension of consciousness we're at, whatever level we're at in our lifetimes, whatever it is, we're going to be going through this at various frequencies. And so we want you to have support. We want you to feel inspired and we want you to continue to be able to reconnect back to who you really are. So every Sunday for the month of August, will be sending you out some piece of inspiration. It might be a reading from me and the JOGs. It might be a channeled message from the JOGs. It might be a video if they can talk me into it again. It, it could be a recording. Like I don't know what they're going to have me send you, but every week on Sundays, we're going to send you some kind of inspiration to support you in your heartbreaking open journey to deeper love and loving. So I look forward to spending August with you. I'll also have a link below so that you can sign up for the newsletter if you're not already in our community. We look so forward to inviting you in to this amazing journey that we're all on to return back to who we really are at the core while in a physical body, something we've never been able to do before, to come together with our beloveds and beautiful spiritual partnership and literally transform this planet. The earth plane for so long has been a planet of survival consciousness and we are literally in the process together of shifting the frequency of the planet to a love consciousness, to love, peace, and prosperity. Like how, how amazing and brilliant that we chose to be here at this time. I'm so grateful to share this time with you. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please know how loved and adored you are and how grateful I am that you're here in this world. So much love to you. Mwah.